according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. With an oath and a unanimous city council vote, Chicago police veteran Larry Snelling becomes the department's next superintendent, a choice supported by alders who are pro-police and those who wanted to fund it. We will find that our officers and your constituents are not that far apart in beliefs. Everybody wants to go home safe. The very popular Snelling is viewed by council members and Mayor Brandon Johnson as the right person to bridge community and the police department. Raised in Inglewood, Snelling joined the department in 1991 and worked his way up through the ranks. When it comes to police accountability, Snelling asked alders and Chicago residents to treat officers fairly. If they're wrong, I'm going to call them wrong. But we need fairness. We need them judged fairly, the way anybody in this room will want themselves or anyone they know judged fairly. We're all human beings. But Snelling says the most important missing component when it comes to policing and violent crime are the victims, especially when children are involved. I don't care who it is. When a child is hurt and murdered, I'll stand with anybody who's outraged about that. While the murder rate is down in Chicago, Snelling faces big challenges. Besides boosting officer morale, robbery sprees and carjackings are up. Snelling says technology will be a big part of tracking criminals. We all know that robberies could lead to something higher. So we want to make sure that we keep the city safe in this way. We're also going to have teams that we put together just to focus on these particular types of incidents. However, Superintendent Snelling told council members that police cannot solve crimes alone. He says that the community must be part of the police and the police must be part of the community. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.